My lab works on understanding how disease of small blood vessels is associated with brain dysfunction and degeneration. We're focused on genetic causes of disease as well as more common acquired sporadic uh, disease in society. Um, as a physician scientist, um, I see patients and I do science that I hope will lead to uh, new drugs, new treatments, new therapies to preserve brain function and extend the longevity of the brain. As a neurodegenerative disease specialist, I want to be able to help anyone uh, affected with neurodegenerative disease, and I think ALS is, um, is one of the most heartbreaking uh, diseases in society. Um, but I don't work on it, so when I was asked to join the IRC, um, I took the opportunity to contribute my time um, and, and, and contribute in that way to the incredible mission that Target ALS has. What's really compelling about Target ALS is their mission and what they've done to, to get to their goal. I think they're doing everything right. So they're giving money uh, to uh, scientists, uh, physician scientists and scientists and, and, and clinician researchers um, at all levels of career development from uh, transition from postdoc to independent investigator, established investigators. The other thing that they're doing uh, that is unique and very compelling is they're bringing all stakeholders. They, they combine um, expertise from industry and academia, and this is really how you can actually accelerate discovery, uh, drug uh, discovery. Um, it is also, uh, they're, they're also very thoughtful about how they uh, fund. So I don't work on ALS, therefore I have no conflict of interest. Um, and it's by participating on their uh, review committees that I realized that even scientific conflict of interest can get in the way of, of being a, a really impartial judge uh, of the science. So it's been an absolute pleasure to work with them, and as much as I can, I will continue to say yes uh, to reviewing the grants and funding the incredible, truly transformative science that they are um, enabling. The story of, of the founder is, is absolutely incredible, right? Um, a personal story, um, a family affected by ALS, genetic ALS, and after founding Target ALS, uh, the founder actually gets ALS himself. And so this is, I think, an extraordinary occurrence in, in history. Um, and to take that pain and um, make it a personal mission to, um, to, to cure uh, this awful disease in society and have the means and the connections um, and the, and the um, and the resources to do that is really extraordinary.